Wake up, wake up, wake up! It's the Mecca Media Morning Show, and I'm Ms. Persley. You already know. Brother Hiram, tell me something good. What up, Purs? How you doing? Hey, you know I'm not complaining. Ain't nobody taking them still. Hey, man, listen, man. Do you go shopping every week? What's the deal? You always short. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm always taking donations, though. You better say it. <laughs> Stop. You better, somebody better sponsor this lady. You better say it. You better say it. I need a sponsor. There it is. Come on. So <laughs> why don't you hit them with the inspiration? That's what I'm saying. Let, let's further the inspiration to get y'all in my inbox with the offers on sponsorship. And go ahead and with that inspiration of the day, Brother Hyrule. How about seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continuously. Ooh, say that one more time. Say that one more time. Seek the Lord and his strength. Scruff. And seek his presence continuously. Seek the Lord and his strength and seek his presence continually. Goes right along with it. Pray without ceasing. You know what I'm saying? It's just we're supposed to always be thirsting for God. That's just facts. So we're seeking his strength. Besides, we've already talked about it. As long as we have God on our side, even our weaknesses will be strengths because he's got us covered. So if we're always searching for him and always thirsting for knowledge after God, then that's he gonna be in our presence and we gonna be covered. That's where we need to be, you know, like a mother hen under the wings and stuff. So you don't get ate up, that's how it works. So anywho, now that you've gotten the inspiration of the day, it is time for you to get the information of the day. And as you know, we get all of our news from the reporternewspaperonline.com. So pull up your smartphones or send me smartphones and go to www.thereporternewspaperonline.com. So today's article is, um, there was a news, I just, it seems like all the time guys. So, all right. News found in black NASCAR driver Bubba Wallace's stall. White analyst who had praised uh, praised changes says, I feel like a fool. Fool. So after NASCAR's race at Talladega was postponed for rain, the organization announced late Sunday night that a noose had been discovered inside the garage of Bubba Wallace, the circuit's only black driver and the man who was brave enough to urge NASCAR to ban the Confederate flag. So the incident is currently under investigation by both the Department of Justice and the uh, FBI. So because of their um, COVID-19 regulations, only essential personnel have been permitted to be at the track during races with NASCAR uh, President Steve Phelps, previously estimating it to be about 900 people. So um, there's a full article, it goes into detail, gives a lot of quotes, but to me that sounds like this should be a quick and easy way to figure out who it was that put the noose on there, if only essential workers are allowed in. There's actually a video to that too, so they can see the video. There is um, a video. Yeah, so they can see the It's basically the analyst who was given so much love about how NASCAR is making changes. Yep. He was on ESPN 60 minutes prior to having to get back on. Marty Smith. Saying how, uh, how much a fool he sound by giving him so much praises for somebody to do like that. That's basically what the video is about. Yeah, it's Marty. He was like, he was saying, oh, they're making strides going forward, moving the Confederate flag. But you know, some people are still bitter that they lost. How many years ago? But okay, we'll digress. Not gonna pull the self backs out, guys. I'm not gonna do it, okay? But let me just say, I've never met a Bubba that I didn't like, okay? Bubba Sparks, Hubba Bubba, all the Bubbas. All the Bubbas have been good, so why are you messing with Bubba anyway? I just, I'm confused. So anywho, now that you've gotten the information of the day, it is time for Brother Hiram to give us the black thought of the day, please. The black thought of the day is black love. Hey. You know what, that's the thing, man. Everybody talk about black love and stuff like that. Let me tell you my definition of black love. Talk about it. It's when you get a woman who know who she is from an African state of um, affairs. Mm. Meaning, she understand who she is culturally. She understand her heritage, and she know how to make that happen in the modern times. The brother, the same. He know who he is as a man, a black man under the most high, as an African, with his heritage and culture intact. That's black love. If it's not conscious, that's some other type of love, okay? Something else. I'm about to call it something else. But black love <laughs> is when you're representing the culture and you're in love with that person as it's your culture. Period. Y'all kill me before they kill me. Yes, love that. Love that black love. It's not just enough just to be like, well, they black and I'm black. Nah, oh, man. <laughs> it's gonna be black, blind, lean the blind around this mother. You gotta <laughs> make sure he got, the head gotta have a head. You know what I'm saying? So if God ain't the head, then <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. You go. 
you're gonna be SOL, okay? You know what that means. Anywho, so now it's time to move on to the black business of the week, and it is none other than AcronHipHop.com. It's us. We are the business of the week. Why? Because, man, we're dope. And anyways, you should check us out. So if you haven't already bookmarked us, make sure you bookmark us on your smartphones, bookmark us on your PCs, tablets, all of it. And we've updated the rap chart, Akron rap chart. And it now includes all independent artists, artists, not just area artists. So make sure you check it out because then you get exposed to some music that you won't get to hear on the radio 50 times in a row. Good luck with that. So, um, I want to thank you all for waking up with the Mecca Media Morning Show and me, Ms. Persley, you already know. If nothing else, make sure you're checking me out at the 90s Showcase event that will be at My World Studios' second location. It's also on Arlington Street, so make sure you hit me up for tickets. And as always, stay up and peace out.